What's up my YouTube family, Sergeant Greybeard with the Gaming Brigade back with another Division 2 video and today my friends we're going to be going over some of the details of the first episode of the Annex Initiative. Now that's a new series that goes over what we can expect and some of the things that we should see with the new title update. Now if you happen to be new to the channel, first of all welcome, secondly feel free to hit that subscribe or join button, we would love for you to be a part of our gaming family and if you enjoyed this or found it helpful at all, do me a favor hit that like button it really does help us out as most of you know we have giveaways here and our current one is for a playstation 5 and all you need to do to enter is either subscribe here or follow us on twitter either way is fine the winner will be announced on december 31st of this year there is a lot i want to go through today my friends we're going to jump right into it now once again for those of you that may not know the annex initiative is a new monthly newsletter that the game is going to be putting out until the next title update and as i said it's going to give us a breakdown of some of the things we can expect and some of the major changes coming to the game. You can see here my friends the game just put out the initiative and it says the following. As previously communicated we are back with a new episode of the Intelligence Annex Initiative. Today we are kickstarting things strong with a focus on how we are going to improve one of the key aspects of the game, specializations. While all the details will be shared closer to launch, we wanted to give you a sneak peek about how the team is going to continue to give you more choice in building your perfect agent. To introduce this content, we now leave the floor to Trick Dempsey, expert game designer. So Trick starts off by saying, in the last few years, we've dedicated a lot of time to researching the builds used by players in both PvE and PvP content, and we've concluded that specializations are today not reaching their full potential. Our objective with specializations is to empower players to create agents who match their playstyle preferences. With our next update, specializations will greatly improve both build diversity and player choice. To do this, we will be splitting up specialization progression into a linear level and specialization tree. Starting off with the linear progression system, in the current design, much of the existing specialization tree is mandatory. Agents can spend their points into improving signature weapon damage and ammo acquisition, also requiring to manually add and remove individual elements whenever you decide to try out a new weapon. She goes on to say, to better fit with our ambition to create a more bespoke experience for all specializations, these elements will be moving to a strictly linear system. This is where you'll unlock your skill variants, specialization sidearm and upgrades, and signature weapon power. All the this is where the power increase comes from perks will be moved here once they've been reviewed and tuned. Once you've unlocked these benefits, they will remain permanently on your character as long as they have that specialization active. Now moving on to the specialization tree. Thanks to the addition of the linear progression system, we will be entirely reviewing the specialization tree to provide a stronger focus on customization and choice to the players. Importantly, there will not be enough specialization points to purchase every perk on the tree. Instead, you will need to choose what perks best fit your playstyle. The specialization tree focuses on three elements elements, signature weapons, armor kits, and grenades. For grenades and armor kits, we want to provide alternate uses for these consumables which may be triggered instantly in addition to standard behavior. These trees permit agents to pick whether their armor kits and grenades have these alternate quick uses and invest additional specialization points to improve them. Now for the signature weapons, we want to allow players to customize their behavior and to invest specialization points to increase the impact those choices might have. This would be a meaningless addition without the ability to make named enemies vulnerable to signature weapon damage, so we are implementing a system to make that possible. Now she finishes off the section by saying they're going to be reintroducing specialization to PvP. Now I know for a lot of people out there you may be worried because of the balancing, but she goes on to say that to avoid seeing signature weapons become the ultimate ambush tools, agents will be treated the same way as named enemies when it comes to signature weapon damage. This will require significant balancing and tuning, so we will be watching build and player performance closely. Now out of all the notes my friends, this is by far my favorite page whatsoever because it just gives you a quick breakdown and it says the following. While a specialization and its signature weapon are tied, that would no longer be true for their mods, skill variants, and sidearms anymore. By sufficiently leveling up specialization, you will unlock these formerly specialization restricted specific items for the use by other specializations. And my friends, just to give you an idea of what she's referencing, she ends this by saying, want to use the Artisifer Hive? 
with the mortar turret while wielding the survivalist d50 you will be able to do just that so there is going to be so much build diversification i mean it's going to be absolutely insane now i know it's going to be a while until we actually get this content we're talking february of next year however the fact that they've given us specific details and some i mean this is just some of the things we can expect they haven't talked about game modes i mean this in itself would change up the game for so many people i cannot wait to see them actually implement these things and as i start to wrap this video up do me a favor and let me know what you think of this information in the comment section down below personally i'm hyped i mean the thing is we're just talking about specialization we haven't talked about new weapons or gear sets or just anything at all so this for me will be a game changer and I can't wait to see it now keep in mind as I say that I know a lot of you out there are waiting for that new content information however the game did make it clear today's initiative was going to be about the specialization and we will be getting more of these before that new content actually drops and as always as soon as I have any more information I will definitely pass it along on that note, I'm going to let the rest of the video play out. However, as always, I want to take a moment and thank you all for your continued support of this channel, especially over the last six months where we had nothing really to report on. You guys were here. We kept the community, you know, going. And again, thank you so much for being a part of this family. Like I said at the beginning of this thing, if you happen to be new here, feel free to hit that subscribe or join button. We would love for you to be a part of what we're doing. If you enjoyed this, do me a favor, hit that like button as well. But most importantly, take care of yourselves, be kind to each other, and we will talk to you soon. Thanks again, everyone. Supply room access unlocked.